Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. So today we are going to be doing a feeding video, but we're not going to be doing just any feeding video. We are going to be feeding the species that this box tells us to feed. We're also gonna be feeding crickets, which we haven't done in a while. I'm sure a lot of you guys will remember what these are, but these are keeper cards and they're actually made by my friend, Danny. Now this specific pack has not been released. This is the second full pack. And if you guys will remember the first one, I will link it down below, but essentially it's like the same thing, just more species to add on to the first. I don't feel like I have to introduce it as much this time around because I feel like a lot of you guys kind of get what's going on. The big, the bad, and the bold expansion pack features 30 new species and six new info cards and limited edition packaging. Mm, yes, this says it was November last year when the first set came out. This is the second set. And of course there have been tiny little expansion packs throughout like the YouTube channel heroes and I've got my S. Hoffmani on one, but this is the full thing. And so this Kickstarter is explaining um, if you wanna go ahead and get in on the first releases of this. <gasps> there is a jump in, oh my God, there's a little spider on my phone. What a twist of events. Always have a catch cup ready, you guys. What are you? Uh-oh. Come here, are you a little jumper? Oh my God, it sure looks like it. It's so cute. There it is. It looks like a little jumper. Yes, let's keep this jumper. I wanna keep this jumper, okay. Hey. Oh, perfect. There we go. Cool. Anyway, back to the video. I will go ahead and link the Kickstarter info down below if you want to get in on this. There's a ton of like things that you can get, like packages. But essentially what we are going to be doing today is feeding my tarantulas and feeding the species that come along in this new pack. 30 species is a lot. I don't think I'm gonna have as many, but I'm pretty sure we'll have a, a, a decent amount, I think. I don't know, we'll see. <laughs> Okay, first things first, let's get these crickets in here. There's a lot of crickets. I might need a bigger critter keeper. No, uh, that's fine. Let's open this. Very nice pack, very similar to the other. Okay, let's go ahead and see what we got going on. Okay, so let's go ahead and get right into this. Of course, first we have the official expansion pack. Okay, and this is a bunch of YouTube channels. I'm sure you guys are familiar with most of these. And then these are the cards. So I, right off the bat, we have Love Tarantulas. This is a YouTube channel that pretty much everybody follows that's really into the scientific aspect of tarantulas. So if you're not familiar with Andrew, definitely go check out his channel. First up, we have Gryllus Asimilis, <laughs> Brown Field Crickets. That's really cool. You actually have included a card for feeders. Keeping guide, we have cleanup crew. This is about springtails. All right, so it looks like this one is actually a card about molting and it even includes like pre-molt signs, everything. That's a really handy info card. And then substrate, arboreal, fossorial, terrestrial, kind of like goes over that. And here we have our first species. So this is a Xenemy and I do actually have this species, a fast and fairly defensive old world baboon. So yeah, let's go ahead and go grab mine and see if she wants to eat on camera today. All right, so this is my Azendemi, and you see she is down here in her turret. I don't know if she's going to actually come out, but get a little bit of water. Where did my... Oh, she's already there waiting. Very good. Let's see uh, how it goes. Oh, I accidentally dropped three. <laughs> Oops, and surprisingly, she's kind of hanging out here for a minute for us. I wonder if she's kind of hanging out because she knows there's other crickets in here. There she goes, perfect. Hey, you want one more? <laughs> okay. She's satisfied and I think uh, so am I. All right, so now let's move on to the next one, which is Brachypelma erratum, which I actually just unboxed one for Halloween. And I asked you guys for a name and I actually have a few in mind. So I'll put those over the screen really quick and you can tell me which one is your favorite before I officially decide. But let's go ahead and see if she uh, wants one of these. <gasps> Maybe. Mm, I don't know. 
No, and she, I know, I know she's about to kick some hair. So I'm going to leave this little thing in here and I'm gonna let her decide if she wants to eat it overnight. I don't believe she's in pre molt or anything. And uh, yeah, I'll check back in the morning. Okay, so now we are looking at Bumba cabolca. This is a species I don't have. I don't think I've ever kept this species actually. Ceratogyrus darlingi. So of course this was my first old world tarantula. I will go grab her and see if she wants to eat. All right, so she's pretty shy, but usually I can get her to come out for food. So let's put that to the test and find out today. I'm not seeing any movement in her burrow on this side, but she actually has two entrances to her burrow and we'll go ahead and try the other. She's definitely interested now. And there she goes. <laughs> Just gently took it. Another nice shot. All right, so let's see who is next. We have Chrometapelma cyanio pubescens. Cream bottle blue, GBB. Of course, I've got one of these. Let's go ahead and grab her and see if she's hungry. But knowing green bottle blues, she's probably gonna be hungry. <laughs> so we have, whoops. Okay, so we did recently rehouse her and you can kind of see actually how she's decorated thus far. She's put these leaves up. Um, there's the jaw. So she's really good at interior design and she's also really good at eating crickets. Oh my God! <laughs> I dropped a really small cricket on her and she took off. Let's try again. Oh my God, she's hungry today. Find one cricket. Oh, there we go. She finally got one. That was pretty intense. Wow, okay, so what is next? C. lividus, cobalt blue tarantula, which I do not have one of these. I've never had one of these. You guys always ask me to get one of these, but I'm just really not really into uh, Asian fossorials. So next, D. diamond tenensis. This is perfect because I actually have one that just molted and I believe it's a female and this will be her first meal since a molt. Okay, so this is my female. I don't know how good of a shot I'm gonna get because she is crazy. Probably gonna get a little bit better of a shot than I was anticipating, which is awesome. So I'm gonna give her a nice big meal. Oh, and she's scared of it. Okay, she's just startled. Oh, there she goes, she took it. Unfortunately, not the shot that I wanted, but you can sure get a nice glimpse of that coloration down there. Very skittish girl and extremely feisty. Okay, so who do we have next? Ephibopus cyanonithus. So it's an Ephibopus, but I do not have this species. It's the blue thing. Definitely on my wish list though. Hapalopus formosus. So this is also a species that I don't have, would definitely like. H. pulchropes. Unfortunately, I randomly lost mine after a molt. It molted, it had water, so it wasn't dehydration. I'm guessing something internal went on. So we have lost my H. Pulgrapes, H. maculata. This is a species that I don't have, a very spicy old world arboreal. Very beautiful, but not really for me. Hysterocratus hercules. I do not have this species. The Hercules baboon tarantula. Lazadora difficulis. Brazilian red bird eater. Don't have it. Would love it. Definitely on the wish list. Nandu caraponensis. Brazilian redhead tarantula. Don't have it. Nandu chromatis. I did have a male. I went ahead and sent him over to my good friend Ruth and fortunately she did have some success at pairing so we're hoping for an, a sack there. Oh, violus soapies. <laughs> Singapore blue. Nope. Oh, philippinus. Nope. Pamphibedius antinosis. Steely blue leg tarantula, don't have it. Pamphobetus ultimarinus, definitely on my wish list. Definitely drooling over this species. As you can see, they are absolutely beautiful. Right up my alley. Pecanceris heighten brown tarantula, I do not have it. Heishen, Heishen brown. Peacelotheria metallica, okay, I do have one of these. Let's uh, see if she's up for eating today on camera. This is a tarantula that does not like the light, so I have a feeling this feeding clip is not going to be the easiest with how darty she is, especially when a light is shined on her. As you see, she's like panicking because obviously there's a, a light. <laughs> All 
All right, while we uh, wait on this, which is probably gonna take some time, judging by how she's like hiding down here, let's go ahead and keep flipping and see if we find uh, any other species to feed today. Okay, so Pislotheria rufolata, I do not have this. P. murinus. Orange baboon tarantula. Yeah, I do have one of these. I have an actually growing female that I've raised since she was a teeny tiny sling. So yeah, I'm pretty sure she'll eat, but she is also camera shy. I'll do what I can to get a shot of her, but I don't know. Slide it open. Oh, 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 no, come back. It's fine. I'll drop a few crickets in because I'm sure she'll take both. Give her one more. <laughs> Again, really shy, like I warned you, but I have no doubt that she's gonna eat those later. All right, S. Chrysasapes, Queensland whistling tarantula. I've heard about these. These are in Australia, and this is actually a species I see float around from time to time. We don't get a lot of Australian species available over here, but this is definitely one of them, and I've heard they're pretty crazy. Not opposed to actually getting one someday, though, just to say that I own an Australian species. <laughs> S. Cal, nope, do not have that. T. Violisis, the purple tree spider. I don't have it. I'm not opposed to getting one eventually. T. Blondie, nope. T. Sturmy, nope. X. Aminis, so yep, this is more up my alley than any of those, of course. And I do have one. Not sure how uh, this shot will be. I'm actually kind of surprised to see it out. So it must be hungry or want something. <laughs> Give it a big meal today, huh? Oh, okay, that's weird i don't know we could we could try a smaller one i guess upon a closer look i do believe oh <laughs> okay it still took it but i do actually believe this species this tarantula is actually in pre-molt if you will go ahead and look at that abdomen it looks like it's actually gonna go ahead and molt again soon which is perfect so yeah awesome look at that coloration though as an adult so pretty all right, why diversipes? I don't have one, but I definitely want one of these. These are the Amazon Sapphire Pink Toe Tarantula. Extremely colorful and beautiful. And that's it. All right. I wasn't really expecting to have that many of this pack because it's the big, bold, and bad. And I don't have that many big, bold, bad ones. As we know, I'm more of a new world, cute, fat, slow tarantula type person. But these cards are awesome. I think these are a perfect addition to the first pack and that's a, that's a pretty good deck to add. All right, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Like this video if you did, subscribe if you're not. And you want to be. Don't forget I've Instagram videos probably way too much. It's at tarantula.cat. You can go follow me there. I also have a Patreon, Teespring, and a podcast that is all linked down below. And again, thank you so much, Danny, for sending me the new cards. Go check out Danny's Kickstarter. And I will be seeing you guys soon. I hope you're doing great. Stay safe, stay well, and stay spooky. Wait, October's over. Mm.